Wow, I can't believe it, but there's still some uh, battery power on this uh, camera. It's just amazing that it's still going. Wow. Hi, um, this is going to be part eight of my novel, Jihad at Java Jills. And if you want to see other parts, then I suggest that you make a YouTube account if you don't have one and upload this video and give it the title, Jihad at Java Jills Part 8. And that way others who've done the same, but with different parts, uh, can collaborate and see how the, the novel progresses. And in the process, you can also do other things like take those videos that are on this DVD and upload them to YouTube or LiveLeak. And the, and the reason I put them in there is because they're excellently exposed in Islam, showing its flaws, showing the threat it poses. And if we can get them enough of them out there, get enough of them out there, maybe people seem to go, wow, can't believe how bad the Quran and Hadith are, blow it with science and stuff like that. And then we, maybe we can keep Sharia law from being imposed on us, which is, believe me, you don't want Sharia law imposed on you because then you have to have the jizya tax. It's an extortion tax. You have to pay that if you're not full-blown Muslim or you're killed, according to Quran 9, 1 through 5, and especially Quran 9, 29. So anyway, this is uh, Jihad Java Jills Part 8. All right. Let's see here. i read it back in a little bit here. Let's see how many times I have. Okay. Oh, my gosh. This is going to die pretty soon. All right. I'm going to read back a little bit here. After driving, after driving uh, about town for what he felt would be his last time, uh, producing memories that only brought tears to his eyes, he passed by the neighborhood owned, by the neighborhood market owned by Muslims that Willard would always go with the dollar he'd get out of Brian to buy one little cigarette. Brian didn't realize till later that 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 was where his dollars were going until he went to the market with his friend and used one of his dollars to get another cigarette. To keep that from happening further, Brian ended up buying packs of cigarettes and tried to give a cigarette to Willard for 50 cents, telling him he'd rather 50 cents go to him than a dollar contributing to uh, uh, full-on Sharia law later. But Willard never seemed to have the money and Willard managed to get a free cigarette out of Will anyway. The market owned by Pakistani Muslims got a lot of money over the years from Brian when Willard would use Willard's when when Brian would use when Willard would use Brian's money to buy Natty Daddies, Hurricanes, Mickeys, and Steel Reserves. Instead of going to the Hindu owned neighborhood market, like Brian thought Willard was doing, he was actually going to the Muslim owned one. One time, when both Brian and Willard went to the market to buy to, to buy smokes. Um, uh, to buy smokes for Willard. Willard drunkenly asked the young Muslim at the counter, Hey, when are you guys going to convert to Christianity like me and my friend? You guys could have fun then, instead of having your uh, fucking asses up in the air on prayer rugs all the time. Hearing Willard say that embarrassed Brian no end. So, since such a memory came back to him, Brian thought he'd try to be an ambassador for Christ and try to let uh, the Muslims know that Willard was holding the truth and unrighteousness not, and not, not really a true Christian, but a carnal Christian who believed he had a Jesus card to screw around without the fear of eternal damnation even though there is a scripture saying God is not mocked. You can't tell me uh, that Jesus didn't die for my sins. You can't tell me I'm not a Christian, Brian remembered Willard drunkenly and angrily telling him more than once. Hearing Cowboy Willard uh, say that depressed, dep said that, say that depressed Brian and made him wonder if there might actually be a flaw in his own beliefs. Still, Brian wanted to try to explain to the Muslims that Willard was partly right about it, but that the before scriptures, Holy Bible, the Quran says the Quran confirms and reminds, warns the Christian about being saved yet is by fire should they continue to sin willfully after being saved. 
that God chasteneth those whom he loves, that God, that, quote, God forbid, unquote, was added to the end of what? Shall we sin that, that grace should abound? I have to somehow make Christianity make sense to them to keep, them from, to keep these guys from going to hell, to make it so they can go to the real heaven, Brian told himself, admitting that these Muslims seemed more godly than, and holy than the cowboy and even himself. Remembering Cowboy telling him that he secretly watched one do his thing all by himself on a prayer rug. When Brian walked into the market, the scripture speak the truth and love speak the truth and love went through his mind. The Muslim market owner looked shocked to see how bad Brian looked since the last time. Brian told him that he decided to quit dyeing his hair. That dyed or not dyed, there was no way he would ever be able to attract a babe anyway anyway. With that, the Muslim said with a smile, Well, that's because they are babes. You have to wait about five years. Then you can attract them. The Muslim laughed at his own inside joke, making Brian look perplexed. The Muslim then said, You know, because we, are, because we supposedly marry little girls, because Muhammad, praise be unto him, supposedly married a six-year-old uh, like they're saying about them now, lies, of course. Brian asked, Oh, you mean Muhammad marrying little Aisha when she was six and consummating the marriage with her when she was nine and Muhammad was 54, according to uh, Sahih Authentic Hadith? Ah, ah Hadith? The Muslim looked shocked that Brian looked shocked that Brian would know who Aisha was and the words Sahih and Ah Hadith were. He then said coldly to Brian, your friend uh, told us that you spend all your time cowardly hiding behind the computer telling us how stupid and evil we are that you'd like to, quote, kick our raised asses up in prostration, but are too cowardly to meet us face to face in a real fight. Really? Asked Brian, realizing now that Willard was trying to get Muslims to possibly kill him now. Uh, is that true, Mr. Richardson of 520? Before the Muslim could uh, give Brian's whole street address, Brian said with a feeling of gra grave, grave betrayal from Willard, no, it's not true. I don't hate Muslims at all. Willard is just pissed that I kicked his ass. Pissed that some fag, uh, which he thinks I am, would actually break his break my fist on his skull. Apparently, he wants to. He, wants, he apparently he wants you to kill me since you now know my street address. Brian showed the the Muslims his arm and and hand that was still in a cast and bandages. Cast and bandages that were beginning to stink from Brian's being way too busy writing a novel and creating other secret projects to bo too bother to having the cast removed. Why did you hit our most valuable customer hard enough to break your fist on his head? Brian thought and said, saying, do I really have to explain why I flipped out and struck a guy like that, a guy like him? Possibly thinking back to the time a drunken Willard used the term fucking asses up in the air on prayer rugs all the time to refer to the Muslim position of prayer, the Muslim smiled and said, No, I guess you don't. But tell me, Mr. Richardson, why are you hang around a guy like that? It, 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 it doesn't make sense. No sense at all. You, you actually seem to be the kind of guy who wouldn't be into fart and shit jokes. And, well, you seem to, uh, you know, have, have some class. Brian thought and said, we go back a long time. His parents were great friends of my parents until his dad died. Then his mom married a guy who secretly wasn't interested in her, just secretly attracted to him and acted like he was attracted to, her, to his mom to get to him. Willard was what you call a pretty boy back then, prettier than a lot of girls then. I, I could be wrong, but I think all this acting like a cowboy is his attempt to act like he didn't like getting, getting queered. Oh, and he probably really did. So, out of feeling sorry for him, oh well. I'm hoping that maybe God will reward my efforts, possibly. Oh, so you are a Christian? Both you, uh, both you and he are cri actually Christians? Asked the Muslim with excitement, with an excited smile on his face, seeming to hope it was true, thereby helping to keep him firm in Islam. You mean a person in the book? Yes, for Abay Mosakran 568 about 
quote, having no ground to stand upon, unless standing firm upon the Torah and Injil, Gospel, New Testament, and I obey all of Quran 547, which, where I'm to use the, use the Injil, Gospel, New Testament, to judge therein of the, quote, clear signs Quran while waiting for you, for Muslims to come to me for my reading, not reciting, but my reading of the before scriptures, Bible, according to Quran 1094, if you, a Muslim, are in doubt about the clear signs, the clear book that explains things fully in detail, the Quran. Brian said like a robot, since that was the response he usually always gave to Muslims in a, in a chat room. Realizing that he went on too far with the knowledge he had from the Quran, making the Muslim think he just might be what Willard said of him, except for the hate of Muslims, Brian tried to deflect something so so automatic with him by quickly adding, which is why I'm here to try to let you know that I that I feel he, my friend, is holding the truth and the righteousness and uh, not a real Christian. Oh, said the Muslim, still shaking his head and blinking his eyes in shock from hearing the Quran quoted to him in English like that. The Muslim blinked again and asked, so he's really not the Christian like those who joined ISIS really aren't the Muslim? Well, all religions have bad, their bad apples, you know. True, said Brian, but in Christianity there is no promise of having sex with virgins if you die killing and being killed in the cause of Jesus Christ. No command to force an extortion tax on people until they become full-blown Christians. The Muslim looked shifty-eyed. Brian tried to not go there, but since he knew he would be dead soon anyway, he said, you aren't even threatened, you're not even threatened with a painful doom if you stay at home and don't go forth killing and being killed the cause of, of in the, in, in, killed in Christ's cause. Brian was no, Brian was so matter of fact that this, the, with the Islamic facts that it freaked the Muslim store owner out. The Muslim backed up pondering over just what the what the fire, that's their version, their word for hell, what the fire he had in the store. He said, sounds like you are going to a lot of anti-Muslim websites like your friend said you are. Wrong, said Brian, for that would mean I'd hate you guys. No, I go to anti-Islam websites. Um, have you heard of Christian Prince and David Wood? Uh, possibly even Sam Shamoon and Robert Spencer? On the mention of Christian Prince and David Wood, the Muslim's eyes widened with fear in them. Instead of making a hissing sound, he just said, Uh, yes, we've heard of them.